We missed the the secret level, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> we still have plenty of plenty more levels to do. Two two more levels. Or was it one? Yeah, the two levels. So like when you started on the Doom music, Bobby, were you we already you know, at it, like, you know, working for them, like, full-time? Uh, I had... No, no, I, I never worked full-time. I was always a contractor. A contractor, okay. okay. Yeah, uh, at, well, in under the the law, uh, if, you, if you do your own thing and uh, people just tell you what they need and you do it your own way and your own time and stuff like that, it's called an independent contractor. Sure, yeah, and yeah. And so... Uh, you you're not actually an employee, so no, I never worked. Now I, I did work more than full time when I went to visit them, mm -hmm. uh, and that was to tie up loose ends and and uh, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, but you were going to ask me a question because I was keying on the full time thing. Oh no, it's okay. It was um, what was? Let me see. I mean, <laughs> let me see my questions here. About doing um, the music. Uh, uh, did I do any music while I was with them? Yeah, maybe, or did or? you did you do it from at home, or were you like we were, were you kind of I'll, sporadically going in there and writing music? Uh, no, I I I did it totally away from them. I did write. I know at least one, and that's uh, one where I went in and watched from the hall, not the hall, but from the general the room where everybody could get together and some people it was their offices mm -hmm. uh i could be in there and see uh see uh carmack at his desk it was late one night and uh, uh it's called the name of the song is my god uh i can't remember the name of it right now but it <laughs> it, it was it was uh it just came to me by watching him. Right. I thought that'd, that'd make a good pensive kind of a, a, a tune, you know. Cool. It was it from and, Doom uh, 2 or Doom 1? Do, it was in Doom 2, I'm almost sure. Yeah. Uh, something the Code. It's Something the Code. That's, let me, let me uh, just see if I can find it here, actually, because I should be able to have the Doom 2 soundtrack. Uh, you know... And I'll get I'll get the list of songs. Deep into the code. Oh, that could have been it. Yeah. Um. So and yeah. it's just it's it's uh, just a pensive kind of a piece. Uh, back backgroundy. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's. Uh, but I, I'm sure that's what it was called. Yeah, just have have a list here. There's uh, Running from Evil, The Healer Stalks, Countdown to Death, Between Levels, uh, the one you were talking about earlier on called Doom, uh, In the Dark, Sean's Got the Shotgun, The Dave Taylor Blues, Into Sandy City, The, D the Demon's Dead, Waiting f Oh, Waiting for Romero to Play, was that it? No, uh, no, but that, no. I think I'll, I think that was something I'd already written and I said, I. That's what I need to listen to when Romero, when I'm wait, waiting for Romero to play the game and test it out, test oh, out the right. music and sound effect. Because <laughs> see, working on the sound effects now, this was not real time stuff. There was no plug it in and immediately play the game. They had to compile the blame thing. Wow. Okay. So yeah. I had to go to Romero and say, okay, I, I put the sound effects in the right directory. Can you? Uh, compile the game with those in it and he'd a lot of times go well I've got this and that to do and so I just basically waited around and worked on other stuff waiting sure. for him to, to play the game play the game, you know, yeah. and, <laughs> and uh, makes sense. I'd then make mental notes of the like that sound effect of the the uh, the pink pinky guys yes. uh, you know the pigs that's my favorite them. sound <laughs> Uh, that that I was trying to time him them falling and all that and get it, and I had to do several iterations of it to get the timing to where it fit, you know. Right. So he would have to play it, and then I'd test it out. But I, I'd make a note and 
I, I was really amazed at myself sometimes how I could literally do it on one mistake. I mean, it, I would do it where it didn't quite be right, and I'd take it back and get it right the second time without mm. having to do it more than once. But that was the first one that I was trying to do that on, as I recall. Wow. But, and some of those names came after the songs uh, just because they they fit part of the game. Sure. I think that the, the, now the healer stalks, I wrote that based upon the healer. I saw the healer before I wrote it. Right, yeah, yeah. And oh, I he's, thought he's he looked like, you know what he reminded me of? He reminded me of the, uh, the reggae. The reason it's uh, sort of Caribbean sounding, he reminded me of that, uh, the uh, reggae or the Caribbean uh, religion that has a, a skeleton that sort of looks like that. It was based on uh, Caribbean music. Uh, the it, it's uh, it's got that kind of a feel to it mm -hmm. because the the healer uh, looked like one of those skeletons that you see in one in voodoo, I guess. Oh right, yeah, you yeah. Know, in the Caribbean, and it, it hit me, and I went, "Well, I'm gonna do something sort of Caribbean-ish." You yes. know, and carabinish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I no guess such it. word, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, uh, Caribbean-ish. And, right. uh, and so it became the healer stops. That makes you know? sense. Yeah, I, was, I always <clears throat> wondered about that song because it was really creepy. And uh, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Yeah, that that was, uh, you reminded me of that. Thank you. Because wow. I, I was, th most of them, though, I already had roughed out and. They had no name. Yeah, sure, sure. Now I had a bunch of files just since hit the internet that I didn't even know that uh, anybody had a copy of mm -hmm. because they were used not files. Back then you had eight alphanumerics dot three alphanumerics for a file name. Right. And mm -hmm. that's all you had in DOS. Eight 8.3 mm -hmm. and so I when I roughed out anything or had any kind of an idea or worked on a song or whatever I would say uh, uh, I named it UN O O O O whatever mm -hmm. uh, some numbers thinking I might have tens of thousands no <laughs> not really <Okay>. but <laughs> and uh, I would pull from that those that were uh, uh, were not just flat out rips of of stuff, you know, and uh, and uh, I had some other naming convention for the ones I was working on, though, mm -hmm. and I can't remember. But anyway, evidently those got siphoned on off of my computer onto Ed's uh, computers and Romero released them, I don't know, sometime. At least that's what I was told. Right. And uh, uh, so a lot of people are comparing those, I'm sure, with stuff that got released. And some of those were actually used in the final game. Oh, that's um, uh So... I don't know, but anyway, uh, the uh, so anyway, I I would uh, after I don't know that I named all the songs. I think some other people came up with names too, and sure. we just started generally using those. And that's uh, they really didn't have a name. I I don't think they had names when they went out into the game. They did. Okay. That w that was done afterwards. Someone just picked them, or yeah, yeah. But the reason for it was uh, certainly before it was written, uh, and somebody is. I went to sleep here. No, I it's all right. Off, I I was back in Ed's offices there for a moment. <laughs> uh, and but anyhow, uh, 
Now, how did I get up here? There I <laughs> is where I got up here. <laughs> yeah. Whereabouts are you? Uh, uh, star, maybe. I am uh, up st up up a level somewhere here. Here's the elevator. Oh, that's, all, that's all good. So, is there any um like? Do you have any music from Doom that hasn't been released to like the general public? Um, uh, I probably do. Uh, but I I put a lot of that stuff away. I just killed myself. Oh. <laughs> just leave me dead for a minute so I can talk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have a lot of stuff that's like in storage on. I, I sort of archived on CDs. And by the way, they used to say these CDs won't be around. Well, mm. uh, a lot of them that I stored in not too good a location, uh, I'm still able to read off. I mean, I was able to put them on. Uh, have you uh, have you uh, gotten yourself a drive that'll do 50 gigabyte uh, di M disks? Oh, M disk. Yeah, I don't know actually. I don't think so. I bought one that that will do it. They're they're dirt cheap. Uh, I mean, they're like all uh, uh, drive of that sort of drive now. They're they're not expensive at all. Sure. Uh, of course the the M discs are, are sort of pricey, but I moved a bunch of stuff to those when they first came out, and those are supposed to last basically forever, unless wow. you uh, really abuse them. Yeah. yeah. But uh, those old CDs, data CDs, they. But the sad thing is that there was no archive, there was no librarian for them back in the day, and I wrote very cryptic things on them. Right. <laughs> so I, I've got to go through all of that. And, you know, I, I, I want to move into the future, and I, uh, the past will will hang you, Yeah. basically. Mm -hmm. It'll hang you up, and you won't get anywhere. Uh, and, uh, you know, I maybe one of these days I'll get all that stuff together, and I'd like to release the MIDI files and see what people do with them. Yeah, you know? I mean, I I'd love to hear your like your unreleased, um, you know, stuff from, you know, from any of your games like you know, uh, Blake Stone or Jig Trudy or Rise of the Triad. I'd love now to hear. I, I do have, <clears throat> I did, I did up the Duke stuff, uh, and it's, uh, well, I can I can send you a copy, but it it's, uh, God, well, I know it's on. Uh, it was my first test case of get of of uh, getting something put up on on uh, iTunes. Mm 